Welcome to the All Touch Terminal Emulation Overview. Before moving on, we want to give you a heads up of what we will be talking about. Here are the objectives we want to achieve with this material, and to the right, you can see how we're going to achieve them. Overall, it should take about 15 to 20 minutes to go through all of it. Let's go. A picture is worth a thousand words. A video is even better. Take a couple of minutes to watch this brief video. What do you think were the key points of this video? Let us do a quick recap of what we've just seen. We'll pose a recap question, pause for a couple of seconds so you may reflect on it, and then show you what we think about it. So, can you tell which industries and applications is this solution primarily targeted on? What we think. Primarily warehousing, transportation and logistics, manufacturing. But any other business still relying on Telnet-based applications will benefit from it. And what is wrong with good old green screen Telnet that was okay for so many years? What we think. It has become a limiting factor for productivity. Performing operations requires many clicks and key presses with eyes looking in many places, which wastes time and creates errors. Different devices have different keypad layouts, which makes migrations and upgrades more expensive, and most modern devices have no physical keypads at all. So why do we think that a GUI-based approach is better than a physical keyboard? What we think. We can optimize the screens so that users have less clicks to make and less places to look at, improving productivity and decreasing errors on all types of devices, with or without keypad. And why didn't it happen before? There were previous attempts that did not get traction. Why do we think this one will succeed? What we think. This time, conversion happens on the device, mostly in an automated fashion. There's no need for a middleware server installation or manual UI creation. Of course, some exceptions may occur, and we provide fine-tuning tools to handle those. So why would anyone buy this again? What we think. Anyone upgrading their old Telnet to All Touch TE will notice an increase in worker performance and decrease in errors made, which are very measurable and impactful performance indicators for any business. In addition, they get an easy to deploy and maintain solution that works across a wide variety of devices, easing future upgrades and saving on IT maintenance. So why refuse an opportunity to save money while becoming more productive? Congratulations! You can explain the key ideas behind All Touch TE using that video. But please stay with us for a bit longer to learn some important details. We will provide some in-depth information on claims we have made, features, licensing, competition, and further resources. Let's take a deeper look at what's behind the claims we've made in the video. First, why is a green screen not good anymore all so sudden? It was okay for the time being, wasn't it? Let's take a look at quotes from some of our partners and customers. The load of warehouses and TNL chains increases thanks to the simplicity of e-shopping. The peak times can spike up to 10 times the load on the supply chain. The new generation of workers are used to the sleek user experience of iOS and Android, not green screen. 
These new workers have a steep learning curve with green screen solutions, and are less productive while learning, and make more errors anyway. And what about temp six-week hires that need to train for four weeks? Finally, any modern device will work with Telnet, but businesses aren't looking to upgrade devices; they're looking to upgrade productivity. And improving the Telnet user experience is one thing that can give them that boost. So, why do we claim that the All Touch UI will deliver the productivity boost just because it looks nicer? In fact. We've conducted real testing in real warehouses, including one of our own distribution centers, and all the tests have shown that this UI made users more productive than when they use a physical keypad, and they like it. This is real-life feedback. Let's take a look at some real-world examples. Look at this screen. How much time did it take you to understand what's happening and what to do next? Compare to this one. Similarly, how long does it take you to read through this order screen? Compare to this one. And what if you had input? Which is easier: reading through the menu, keying in two digits? Pressing Enter and hoping you've keyed in the right ones, or simply tapping the required menu item. Which of these two menu approaches seems easier to read through and more intuitive? It is not uncommon that in certain screens, users need five to ten keys on their fifty-plus key keypad. Just locating those keys on the keyboard takes time and creates errors. Do you think giving users the keypad with only the right keys help? You can see one such example on the screen. Okay, so the UI is good, but will it actually work? There were previous attempts, after all, right? What's behind that claim? The amount of work required by the previous systems was comparable to writing a completely new front-end application, which solidified the front-end logic and made changing the workflows nearly impossible. The technologies were proprietary and convoluted, and thus expensive. The mobile devices had limited processing capacity. So all the conversion and adaptation had to be made on the intermediary middleware server, which only added complexity and cost. Modern devices utilize modern open standards, which have greatly evolved since the old days, and have enough processing power to perform intricate on-the-fly UI conversion right on the device. In fact, what you see in the new UI. Is built using HTML, the standard behind the modern web. On-the-fly conversion using modern open web standards allows us to keep development and integration costs low, adaptation to workflow changes easy, and most importantly, in the majority of cases, it just works automatically, driving costs all the way down to zero. In cases where intervention is required. An easy-to-use tool is provided for customization and fine-tuning. For example, creating custom virtual keypads from the previous example. No coding is required to use the tool. With the key claims covered, let's now take a deeper look at the features. Since this product is an evolution of the industry standard Wavelink TE client, we'll start with a quick comparison. First, both solutions support multiple sessions and connect to multiple hosts with optional SSL and SSH. Secondly, for both solutions, session persistence is available at no cost. Session persistence is important since your wireless workers roam, devices go to sleep, and sometimes lose coverage. 
Many back-end systems built in the days of wired terminals don't handle such situations well and will require administrators to go in and roll back a semi-completed transaction. With current load levels, who would want to do this? AllTouch TE offers session persistence natively, whether the user is roaming in and out of RF coverage, moving between Wi-Fi and 3G, the device reboots or goes to sleep, or even when the connection is temporarily lost. All-touch terminal emulation ensures no session is dropped. Also, both solutions work without host server changes or middleware additions and support mass management and deployment. Let's now discuss what's different. All-touch, obviously, is the one doing the UI reformatting. And then comes the key difference. It only works on Android devices. And because of this, it supports a lot less configuration options. Because the underlying OS and ecosystem are different, and many of those are no longer required. For instance, Lockdown does not work. On the other hand, all Touch TE brings extra control over the device screen, like rotation and other features, and convenient touch versus stylus-based controls. Listed here are the All Touch TE features. Click the link provided here to download the All Touch TE spec sheet, where you can find a description for each feature. Another important thing to know about AllTouch TE is how it's licensed. AllTouch TE is licensed on a per-device basis. Each device needs a license, which is tied to that device. Some of our other products offer blanket or site licenses, also known as enterprise licenses, covering variable amount of devices, but AllTouch TE currently doesn't offer that. Some devices may have it pre-licensed and pre-loaded. Note that having the client pre-loaded on the device doesn't automatically mean that it's actually licensed. Please check the documentation, such as release notes, spec sheets, etc., to see the current list of supported, pre-loaded, and pre-licensed devices. In addition to getting a license, the customer would want to ensure that the software support services are procured for the product, to ensure access to phone and email support, and more importantly, software updates. Finally, is there competition? At present, there is no other solution available to automatically convert legacy green screen terminal emulation apps into highly graphical and intuitive screens without writing a single line of code. Without the all-touch TE engine, companies need to undertake a major overhaul of their mobile apps and back-end systems in order to upgrade their older WMS, ERP, and other client apps. All-Touch TE brings unprecedented ease and simplicity to the much-needed task of updating legacy TE apps. Please take a minute to become familiar with the key differentiating features of All-Touch TE listed here. Okay, we're almost done. In summary, listed here are the main characteristics of the All-Touch Terminal Emulation Solution. You will want to remember these points. This slide shows resources where you will find more information about AllTouch TE. Partners and distributors can get additional information from the dedicated Partner Central page and PMB with important questions and answers. Additional technical training is available on implementation details. Congratulations! You've completed the course. Check the objectives below. Do you think you are confident with everything? Let us know on Launchpad. Test your knowledge by completing the test that follows. Take note 
that you need to pass the test with a score of at least 80% in order to be marked completed for this course in the system. You can take this test as many times as you need to.